Hello boys and girls, my name is Sticky and welcome to I'm a Work of Art. Each week we profile young artists expressing themselves through lots of different art forms. In today's episode of Work of Art, we get to meet Nicole. When I find out who she is and what she does, well, come along boys and girls, let's go meet her. Hello, my name is Nikki, I'm 10 years old and I'm a singer. Okay, so when I was little I started singing along to movies and stuff like that. And then one day I dragged my mom to a singing teacher because I really wanted singing lessons. And so then I started singing lessons and now I really love singing. Look what I made! Mm. Muffins! Mm. I'm Stefan de Plessis. Um, I'm Nicole's dad. What was this? I can hear some down what you had done. It was kinder music. You had kinder music when you were very little. Oh, yeah. That's where everything started. In the beginning, I didn't take it too serious. I thought, well, every, any girl sings, they always sing. Um, a lot of friends kept telling me that, no, there's something special. There's something special. They must, she must sing. She must sing. And then she pulled me to the voice coach all by herself. And still, I wasn't sure about the talent until the voice coach said, yeah, she must really come to a class. <laughs> Nicole is not just a singer, guys. She is a classical singer, and she performed at the international song competition as a soloist. So my family is very musical except for the dad <laughs> and my mom plays guitar, my brother plays guitar and he's grumpy all the time and then I sing and I'm learning to play piano and I just love my family. It's our Lucia. Oh, remember the day Justin wouldn't pose? Look at no. that face. When he just wouldn't <laughs> pose. <laughs> and look at this very, very, very cute little girl lying here. Who I, is I that? Think, that's you, Sally. Oh. C. Oh. Uh, well, she's very musical. She like you, if you can if you speak to her you'll get the sense that she isn't really the one to spend a lot of time on the sports field and stuff she'll spend a lot of time with her music a lot of the time like, we don't really spend a lot of time with each other because like we're very different people because i'm not allowed in your room and i'm not allowed to talk and i'm not allowed to do anything with you <laughs> i enjoy playing my piano and then I also enjoy tap dancing. Watch everything. I like walking my dog, but that's not a talent. I can't go without my dog Google. He's like life to me. My dog Google, because he is so cute. And when I try to play fetch with him, it's very too. I feel very sorry for my dog. He doesn't get as much detention as. I, I used to say the music just floats through the house because she's always singing or busy with something to do with music. But she's a uh, she can be stubborn, she can be very stubborn. But on the whole, um, I think she's just a normal ten year old child. Yeah, I was very proud the first time I saw her performing. On and stage. when was that? Sound of Probably a little bit before Sound of Music, uh, about a few months before it at these at. Like a little play at the school. I feel like this talent chose me because I've just always enjoyed singing. Uh, 
I'd probably like to see you go to the top, and, like at the top of the charts, you hear on the radio and stuff like that. You know that this is on TV now, so your friends are going to watch this and they're going to see you be all mushy with me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nicole is a really amazing singer. Are you guys enjoying her singing? Good, because after the ad break, we get to meet her music teachers and hear a whole lot more singing from Nicole. Don't go anywhere, boys and girls. We'll be right back. Welcome back guys, you are still watching I Am A Work Of Art and today we get to sing along with Nicole who is so great that she has two music teachers. Come along, let's go! just singing lessons and then I got into the sound of music where I played Gretel in Monte Cassino and then in May this year I went to go sing in Italy in San Remo Junior Nicole Joan Duplessis South Africa and now I'm going to go sing in Serbia we are pleased to confirm that you have been selected to participate in the international final Angel Voice in Belgrade, Serbia as the official representative of South Africa. International Children's Singer Contest. Category, Junior Angel, age group 10 to 12. Song, Only Love. Please send confirmation of your participations, name of accompanying persons, no longer than 506, 2016. The one night she was just standing on that stage and there were 2,000 or 1,500 people there. And I thought to myself, you know, I wish I could do that. And, and ever since then I've seen it. She, she feels so confident in herself and she believes in herself. And I think that's something that everybody should try and do is to believe in themselves um, and go into the world with confidence. And it's something that she's, you know, she tells me every single day through how she does it. But that's the way to be. So I have two singing teachers. One is Patty van der Ploeg and she's been teaching me since I was five. And the other one is called Lindy and I've only started with her about three months ago. My name is Lindy Jubeer. I am 23 years old. I've been teaching for around eight years already. Nicole's talent is phenomenal. She's got a very, very strong voice. A very clean, uh, 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 beautiful, warm vibrato. Warm up, vocal warm ups. It's almost like a song, but it's more simplified, and you try and get every note on the piano for as high as you can go or as low as you can go. every day <laughs> but when I do I'd say about an hour or so a day I'm trying to get into that more <laughs> Sing it in some sort of big concert somewhere, so yeah. You know, it's a 
from my side, it's I must uh, add this in. It's it's an it's an honor to work with Nikki. She's a very dedicated person. She really works hard at her art form. So to me, it's it's really just a pleasure. I love working with her. She knows how to have fun too, which is probably <laughs> the best part because you have to know how to have fun. Boys and girls, remember Nicole said she's got two teachers. We are now heading to a school where she also has music classes with her teacher, Patty. I'm excited to meet her. I'm Patty van der Ploeg, I'm the Director of Music here at Danfern College. Good. I, re I remember the first time that she came into my little studio um, here at school um, and she wanted to sing a song from the Aristocats, um, the Walt Disney um, Aristocats and um, I thought it would be too difficult for her to sing okay. and no, she knew all the words and she was fantastic and it really, as I say, as a five-year-old, I went, my goodness, this is a... So today we're in probably one of my favorite rooms in the world and we're practicing for the exam and soirees and concerts that are coming up and I'm with my let's, probably let's favorite teacher in the whole world. She, she hasn't let it go to her head, um, but she is extraordinarily talented. Um, and so it's impacted her life in that this is a, a career for her. I mean, she got into Sound of Music when they put that on at the Peter Turin Theatre um, a couple of years ago. She was part of the children there. Um, and she's, um, she's grown. Ethic for somebody so young, she's got this determination and will to succeed. So she will. She'll go very far, and I know she will. And she, what will be even better is that she will love doing it always. And that, I think, at the end of the day, is the most important. So in five years, I see myself on a world stage somewhere in Europe, singing with a symphony orchestra with a huge smile on my face. Take the chance. Phew, after all that singing, I think we all need a quick break. But don't go anywhere, because after the ad break, we travel to Centurion to meet a classical singer who has been all over the world. We'll be right back. Welcome back, friends. You are still tuned into I Am a Work of Art. Nicole is on her way to Centurion to meet Kevin Leo, who will be her mentor for today. Buckle up, boys and girls, so we can all go meet Kevin Leo with Nicole. Now I'm going to meet Kevin Liu. He is an international classical singer. I'm going to sing him the song I'm going to go sing in Angel Voice International Competition in Serbia. Come on, let's go. Kevin Leo is one of very few South African singer-actor who has managed to find a balance between his respected singing career as one of the country's best-loved light classical turner while creeping into the hearts of many people he has met in what was arguably South Africa's most successful musical film to date, Leafling. He has had a 20-year musical career and is now considered to be one of our top talents. 
he recently launched a new singing chef concept that has become incredibly successful as he performs light, classical, and contemporary pieces. Kevin Leo is what is considered to be a full package with his larger-than-life personality. La olora di bianco vestita Gia luscio de sulonan grado Hi, my name is Kevin Leo. I'm a professional performer. I've been, been performing for 21 years now. I'm uh, professionally trained in opera, but I do various kinds of music. It, it's a great privilege to, to do this for a living. I love making music, I love entertaining people. <laughs> Hi, Nikki. How are you doing? I'm you. I'm fine, thanks. I heard a lot about you. My name is Kevin, by the way. Nice to meet you. You look so beautiful in the red. Thank you. Are you going to sing for me today? Yes. I cannot wait for that. Let's hear what you sound like. Okay. If I can make a suggestion, um, stay uh, when you when you want to sing songs uh, or, or perform. Um, always stay uh, true to your to your age. Don't sing adult stuff because <laughs> nobody will believe you anyway. But you get some some brightness and friendliness in your voice or in your sound is to sing with a smile in your eyes. But you do everything perfectly, lady. I love listening to you. Thank you. So I'm going to go perform in a competition called Angel Voice. And... Angel Voice. Yes. Okay. Did they make the competition especially for you? No. Because you have an angel voice. <laughs> okay. And where, whereabouts is that? It's in Belgrade, Serbia. Serbia. <laughs> My goodness, okay. And I don't actually know much about it, but I know that we're going to go visit a zoo there. <laughs> ah, all right. And that we're going to be there for around eight, nine days or so. That is lovely. And um, what is the competition about? Is it anybody that can, anybody in the world can perform? Or is it for children only? Or? There's... A bunch of age categories, I'm not really sure what they are. Oh, okay. All I know is that I'm in the junior angel, which is age 10 to 12. And then you can sing it again. The song I'm going to go sing there is Only Love, and I'm also going to sing one that my aunt composed for me. It's called You Will Find Your Way. We only love together. And can Yay! you feel the love tonight? journey has been filled with highlights. I can't really pick out one, but if I really have to, I'd say when I performed in Italy in their world opera competition, that was uh, quite an experience. And uh, as far as you going to perform overseas, uh, I, can, I can just identify with 
what you must feel like, in, especially when you go up to stage. And that was my highlight. I got fourth place in the world. Wow. By the way. Very impressive. Uh, thank you. That was so nice. I one of your favorite songs when you were about 13 years old? Very good question. I actually um, enjoyed listening to the, the, the swing jazz music. Even as um, I suppose I, I had a bit of an old taste in music. It seems Nicole had a really great time meeting Kevin. Let's find out from her what was the highlights of meeting him and what she learned. My highlight today during my session with Kevin is probably getting to sing on stage with him because he's been pretty much all over the world and it was just a great experience. When I saw this young lady walking towards me in a beautiful red dress uh, with a beautiful shiny eyes and, and a beautiful smile, uh, I couldn't help but feel that this little lady really loves what she's doing and she looks very confident, uh, she performs very confident and being a dad myself, uh, I can see that her parents really support her very well and loves her, um, and, and loves her beautiful talent and it's, 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 it's very inspiring for me to, to see that. Now that I've met him, I do feel much more confident and I don't really know how to explain it, but more confident and I just feel ready to take on the world. <laughs> After today, I'm sure Nicole will do very well in Serbia and we wish her all the best as she goes to represent her country. That's all we have time for in today's episode, friends. I hope you're feeling inspired and ready to show the world all your great skills. See you next week with another work of art. Bye for now!